What are some things you look at look out for in particular when analyzing a bank's balance sheet? They all look so similar to me. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's a, there's a few things. Uh, one is, and and to be fair, you know, there's so much more regulation now than there was pre-crisis. Yeah. Um, that things are very different. Like if you went back to 2007. Uh, if you looked, for instance, at the Royal Bank of Scotland, it's almost inconceivable now, but they had less than 50 basis points of tangible common equity. Yep. Like that's incredible. Um, so you obviously want to look at uh, equity capitalization on a risk-weighted uh, basis as well as on a non-risk-weighted basis. Um, the other big thing you want to look at is the composition of funding. So really in two fronts, uh, you want to look at deposit to loan ratios. So obviously uh, deposits are both the cheapest and best form of funding for a bank. Uh, so you want to see high deposit to loan ratios. Uh, and within those deposit makeups, you want to look at uh, core deposits. So these are really uh, checking and savings deposits of, as opposed to uh, CD money, which tends to be fast and sort of bounces around. Um, so sort of the proportion of the, uh, the balance sheet that is attributable to core uh, deposits is important. Uh, but really sort of apart from um, the balance sheet, you really want to look at credit quality. Uh, so you want to look at non-performing loan ratios. Um, you want to look at um, reserve coverage ratios. Uh, so you know those are all things that that I tend to look at. Um, I think if you wanted to go a step further, you'd look at uh, you know what is their sort of on the on the asset side of the balance sheet. What is their loan portfolio made up of? Um, are they sitting you know on a lot of commercial real estate exposure in areas that maybe are a little bit long in the tooth, yep. or is it sort of a more conventional CNI? Uh, base. So those are a few of the things uh, that we would look at. 